All right, so at Edison today, Matt brought out his excavator. What we're doing is we just bought a new shop, the building. So we're clearing all this land. We bought that old dump truck. So we're using that dump truck to move the material. And we're going to build a shop here. Now, this is our 1971 Pacific. And for $5,000, she has moved a lot of dirt over the last couple of days. That's us. I'm already getting our money's worth out of it. That's what I love about old trucks. They're just bulletproof. You don't have to worry so much you'll get dirt on the hood either. No, no, you can get a couple of little pieces of dirt. You see it's got full steel fender, steel hood, gives you that counterweight. This is the one where everyone gives a shit for loading up with a cab face and forward. That's right. But without power steering and me dumping right behind, I'm not going to back in and then 18 point turn it around them. It's not like you really have to worry about the paint job. Oh, no, I mean, we got to sandblast this truck anyway, so a little bit of sand is just, you know, doing two jobs at once. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this truck's going to be restored, and uh, so get little dings in it anyway. We're just going to have to, it's going to be taken care of. Yep. Saves time. Like, there's not enough room here to be jimmy and truck around every single dump and turning around just to be pointed the right direction when you don't really have to worry. Like, if you look at the cab here, it's all... It's, there's rust, there's dents, there's everything. So we're just helping get remove the paint that's coming off anyway. That's right. On the next load, we'll actually spin around because then I'm going to turn dumping that way once I got that area pushed in. Plus, it get a little, a little dusty. Man, I can't get over how utilitarian these old cabs are. Look like an old army truck or something. What is this? This was your visor? That would have been the visor back in the day, yeah. See the little C's, but it's got little hinges and... We're getting loaded by Matt and the Yeah, Matt came up. So Matt's one of our guys that invested with us. Uh, he's actually a director of Edison. He runs Matt Co. Construction. So... He was nice enough to, on his days off, to bring his excavator out here and open the shop for us. Man, he's wicked on that machine. <laughs> I seen a post, I didn't really pay attention to the loading. And then I saw someone comment, oh, I wish I was as smooth as that. And then I looked at it again, and I was like, oh yeah, that was real nice. He's like up there, just like, help oh, pause yeah. the bank down. You should see him pulling a level grade. Like he just pulls that whole thing level, like no laser level needed, like just wicked. That's a skill that, uh, I appreciate because I do not have. Like, no, no, you look at mine with the backhoe and it's all. A backhoe is one of those machines, like, and before Matt came out, we literally cleared this whole thing with just that little backhoe. Little 416 cat and, God, I must spend like a month straight just scooping it. And what took me about a month to do, Matt has now done in about two days. So, there we go. Your stronger Yeah, why didn't you back up a million times? Why are you going over the cab? I don't know. So this is why Chase has not been turning around every time because you really have to have a big breakfast to do that. You do. Yeah, I do. Can you believe this is high range reverse? Imagine you're like building both of this thing, like back up the Yeah. Go ahead. Oh. Here's the spot. Tailgate open. Weekends. The guy does not take time off. No days off. 
Homer's building the company here, not to get on the seat and get in there. So guys, this is Matt. Matt nice Antifa. Yes, that's me. That's right. This is a director or a executive director of Edison Motors. Correct. And he is here on his weekend, volunteering time for the good of the cause <laughs> and making room for a shop. Yeah. I brought my machine up from the coast. Um, and uh, yeah, moving some dirt. That's right. Thanks, man. Moving some dirt. And uh, I seen uh, Chase posted a video yesterday of you swinging dirt over the cab, which was awesome. And you were getting some comments about your smooth operating. People were saying they wish they were, they were as smooth as you. And I had to re-reference it because I didn't pay attention at first. And I had to agree wholeheartedly. Because <laughs> when you were reaching up that bag, doing your one swoop motion down and ending up yeah. with a full bucket, that was pretty impressive. Yeah, well, you know, when you when you, you scoop like that, you end up with a big mound of shit here at the front. And then you just kick the stick out and then she's dead level. and. You know, when you're in tight quarters like that in a maybe a slightly newer truck, you don't want to be dropping anything on the hood, right? So right. you try and try and keep her level and you try and not spill shit. I couldn't help but notice how well your automatic leveler works too. That's all in the head here, right? Yeah, no, I got my laser level right here. That's right. We right can, here. We're, we're, gonna, can... we're gonna end up, like you can see all the, the highs and lows. We're gonna kind of cut and fill. That's why we're up on a up on a hill right now, so that we can try and achieve some drainage to, you know, because it's it's all clay, right? So as soon as you you know you get some rain or snow melt, it's gonna get nasty. So if you can try and shed the water, it's the ultimate goal, right? There you go, right yeah. on. Smarter than I look. It's a lot more going on <laughs> than than leads to the untrained eye. Yeah, exactly. trees we cut down in order to make room for the shop we buck the trees up and use the trees to heat the wood stove to keep the shop work so Edison Motors is heating the shop for the trees cut down to make the shop coming along well it is coming along we're gonna have so much room to work with now it was getting dumb like one truck in here it was just too much like just Carl in here left you no room to work now we can have Carl the Pacific the shop, the light, the solar trailer. We're gonna be able to get everything in here. <laughs> 